Good morning again, guys. So, I got some Allen wrenches. So, Ulsa Tools, 9 piece standard, and Ulsa Tools, 9 piece metric. So, comes in 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10 millimeter. And then the standard comes in 16th, 5 64ths, 3 30 seconds, 8th inch, 5 30 seconds, 3 16 quarter inch, 5 16 3 8 So, anyway, here they are. They have a, uh, a weird design. They're called a hex key extractor set. So I'm assuming that extractor is this little bump out so I don't know how that works um, but anyway <clears throat> the only the only gripe I have about these already right off the bat let me, let me make some room here you guys tell me what you think I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about some other stuff so comment below what you guys think my gripe is about these if you can even see the the difference right now. So anyway, got these um, from Also Tools. I'm waiting for their screwdriver set to come out. Um, I want to get. They have a screwdriver set coming out. Hopefully, they can send me a screwdriver set to review. So this is my Stanley sets. So I got my standard. <clears throat> I have a standard and a metric set. I've had these for, um, I don't know, maybe 15, 18 years. Um, as you can see, um, some of them are twisted. This one is, is completely twisted. I've had to put some torque on that one. That one's twisted. Obviously, obviously you can see I use my metric more than standard standards. You know, they're all, there's just a couple that I barely use. The 5 millimeters is out somewhere and the 3 16ths is out somewhere. But anyway, I haven't really had a problem. 4 millimeters a little bit rounded off. Um, and I think uh, 5 millimeter. But anyway, they don't have the ball. So they do not have the ball like these. Which is really nice to get into some weird angles. Some tight, weird angles, which I will need to use um, the six millimeter when I change over my emission stuff for the RAM. But anyway, as you can see, <clears throat> so three eighths, three eighths. You can see it's approximately two inches longer. These ones, which is good. Um, I haven't used them. I haven't tested them. But anyway, so here you go. Here's my only gripe with these already right off the bat. So at glance, which one's metric, which one's standard? I know it's something stupid, and that's why I'm saying it's my only gripe, which is a stupid little gripe. But it'd be nice if they had <clears throat> different colors, I guess. You know, like this is, you know, black standard, yellow metric. Um... It'd be nice if these were, you know, maybe <clears throat> this one was black and this one was red with, you know, this being red, red and black, and black and red, something like that. Anyway, but that's the only grip I got for them. Other than that, I think they're going to be used really well. A um, bunch of different languages. I'm um, trying to find... Any information on them you can go you can go to the website I'll put a link in the website or uh, down below so they're made in Taiwan which kind of kind of scares me a little bit um, I don't like Taiwan tools uh, but you know <clears throat> companies and, and uh, countries have been doing a lot better uh, especially 
with the new tariff taxes and all that stuff, basically, if they can't make good quality tools and good quality products, um, it costs them too much to ship them here um, and to go from that to go that route. So anyway, um, yeah. So that's a new new addition to my toolbox. So I'll have to flip these around. So this is my standard size side. So this is all my standard, and then that's my metric side. So nice, nice, cool little uh, tool upgrade um, for these. So you know, you just go to olsatools.com. I'll put a link in the description. Also, olsatool.com, and uh, check these out if you uh, are interested in getting these. Um, I tried my supposed discount code, which was HALF, all capitals, H-A-L-F, and, uh, yeah, uh, didn't work, doesn't work for me, so I don't know, I'm not sure if it works for anybody else or not, but anyway, so I got those, um, and that's gonna be it for this video, um, I did start putting this mat in here, so, <clears throat> so I did go, uh, lengthwise with it so that I didn't have any splices in here but I am missing uh, about an inch and a half let's say it's about an inch and a half back there um, let's just see uh, we'll say we'll say an inch and a quarter so just another inch and a quarter also tools inch and a quarter and uh, but I've opened and shut the tools. Um, I've opened and shut the toolbox. I don't know, won't do it, but I tried slamming it. <clears throat> and really nothing moves except for like, I think this tool was the only one that was sliding and it's because it's light. But, um, yeah, I don't know. So as you can see, my shorty is sliding, and then slammed it all. All of them just slid. But for the most part, once it gets hot, I think they'll make their little indent indentation, and uh, and yeah, and go from there. But anyway, this isn't a tool review. This is just uh, letting you guys know how I used it. So um, yeah. So that's how I used it. I have yet to do rest of my toolbox. It did make my toolbox more uh, like quiet. So like when you open and close this this drawer, it's a lot louder. I don't know. It'll like sound dead in it, but <clears throat> anyway. But alright guys, that's gonna be it for the video. If you guys want some of those Allen wrenches, go check out also tools. Um also tools.com. Um, and then, like I said, I'll put a link for those Allen wrench sets, and I'll put a link for their website down below. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.